Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a budget breakdown for the next two weeks so that way we know exactly what we need and how we are going to get out of the mess that we're in now. If you haven't watched my previous video, you should probably go do that. Um, I can definitely tell you this. Um, we are a family of two adults and two children and we are really 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 just trying our best to do what we can with what we've got um right now currently i am a gig worker which means that i do doordash uber and lyft and yes i do mean uber eats and yes i do mean picking up people rideshare um in the last couple of months, we've had a lot of income changes. Um, I quit my Etsy shop. Um, it wasn't what I wanted, when I wanted it, how I wanted it to go. Um, also, um, my husband was working as a delivery driver. Um, he was delivering big ticket items like furniture, appliances, and other items for a company. Um, they did end up letting him go. Um, we also are both retail, customer service, food, working individuals, meaning that I have 20 years of restaurant, food, hospitality experience. Um, I have currently been looking for a job. I am <clears throat> not going to lie to you. It's been very tough. I have applied for very menial jobs because there that's what is in my little town of 7,000 people. Um, I do have to travel to do DoorDash, Uber, Lyft. DoorDash is in my area, but the Uber, Lyft part is not. So I am not afraid to travel outside my area for work, but I do have some other things that are coming to mind when I do look for a job. Am I willing to travel all the way to the city because that's 45 minutes one way? Am I willing to drive 25 minutes to a smaller city? in which I used to live in. I mean, I've lived in the bigger city longer than I had lived in this little, littler city. Um, but that's where we originally came from before moving to this small town. Um, what do I have to make an hour to make that happen? Um, I have to sit down and do a calculation. Um, I did have a second interview with the place that said I was overqualified to be a fuel attendant here in Oregon. <clears throat> Man, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I need a drink of this coffee. <laughs> um, give me just a second. But um, I am overqualified to pump gas, apparently. And I'm overqualified to be a janitor. Both of which are the same pay. Um, I did go for a... Um, receiving coordinator position because I do have 20 years in food um, and hospitality where I have been a general manager or assistant ma manager. Um, I also have something absolutely hilarious to tell you guys um, while I break this down um, by week for the next couple of weeks, which I'm going to, I'm going to look at my calendar while I'm chit chatting. <laughs> so I had an interview at a grocery store over the phone, and I don't know why people are doing phone interviews now. I think maybe it's because they are not really wanting to see people in person, and if you don't work out over the phone, they just want to be done, you know? I don't know if that's the case, um, but it's kind of interesting. I will say that. It is very, very interesting. So... We are currently on Friday, um, which is today's current date. So this Friday, 
means that by next Friday, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, and then we can go on. So this would actually be, if you are getting paid weekly, technically this would almost be a magic month for you. Um, so we have plenty of time. I'm going to say by Saturday the 17th, we need to have this next allotment of money. So we're going to write August 17th. 2024 and then we're going to write the 30th on here August 31st actually we'll make it I just we'll leave it at the 31st that way it gives me <clears throat> excuse me that way it gives me plenty of time to delegate my ducks okay ducks being the the last few bills we are not going to be worrying about groceries um fuel obviously i have to worry about anyway that's life because i drive for a living um household supplies we do need um i do need to get some pet supplies as well probably not 120 dollars worth um but we're going to delegate that in a minute but i went to i went to the I went on this interview for this grocery store job and she was telling me how competitive, competitive it is out there and I can only give you 13 guaranteed hours a week because you're going to be a part-time employee. The max amount of hours you can work is 24 hours. Um, after 24 hours, if we need you more, um, you know, we will go over if you're going to be part-time or not and all these different stipulations. And then she wanted me to have an open schedule for 13 hours a week, friends. Open schedule, meaning I have to be available from 4 a.m. until 12 p.m. Meaning that if she decided that I was going to be a stalker um, of things, it would be overnight stalking or possibly um, four-hour shifts stalking in the middle of the night. Okay, well, I don't, I live 25 minutes from where the nearest location is, but she was hiring for both the smaller city and the larger city. And I told her, I was like, well, I can go to the smaller city. And if you put me on the schedule, like 15, 20 hours a week, I can make that happen. I cannot make that happen for 13 hours a week. And she was just so dull and kind of rude. I mean, her tone was so dull. It was like, lady, listen, do you want me to work here? Because I feel like you don't really want to work, want me to work here. And apparently, um, because I will tell you this, the friend of ours that we have been giving rides to over the last couple of years, if you watch my channel, you know, um, <laughs> he's like, she's like one of the worst HR people I've ever had to deal with. Worst. So that was a no-go, <laughs> but I laugh. I laugh at this, you guys, because we're talking like menial freaking jobs, like grocery store, cashiering, uh, cart grabbing. Um, what was the other position she was talking about? Um, she was talking about being, um, being in uh, grocery stocking shelves, being a cart puller, essentially. And she's like, you could be in soft goods, which if you know anything about grocery, that would be like breads. And um, if you worked in the home section, that would be like pillows, blankets, bedding. Um, that would be um, bathroom supplies, stuff like that. Um, like, you know, shower curtains, you know, all the things. So anyway, <laughs> and I've worked grocery before and I've actually worked at this particular grocery chain. And, and I will say... Um, that was a different experience. <laughs> I was like 13 hours a week and I have to have open availability and I live not in this area. So how would that work? I'm confused. All right. So we paid all of our smaller bills. I put that in there because I don't really feel like a lot of these are small. So this is, this is all paid 
technically. It's, it's, some of it is still left in here, but most of this is, is already considered paid. The money is there. We have it. Um, I will delegate the ducks, these ducks in the calendar when they needed to be paid. I am a weirdo. I don't want to pay my bills super ahead of time a lot of times because it doesn't keep me on track. I'm a very schedule oriented human being and I have to do it in the way that I do it every single month. Okay, I'm already, I'm already ADHD and out 99% of the time and I need a routine. Um, that does not mean any of my bills are ever late. I don't pay my bills late. I am not a late bill payer. I don't like doing it. I have been homeless once and it took me six year, years to not be homeless. Six years to not be homeless. So why would I want to pay my bills late? Any of them. I don't care if it's my utilities. Somebody's like, well, you can be late on your utilities. Not me, boo-boo. I'm not late on my utilities. I don't like that. Doesn't work for me. So space rent, car payment, and we need $100 for phones. So I can tell you right now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm putting, putting phones over here. So I'm leaving two spaces here. So phones is going to need a hundred. Okay. By the 31st, it's going to need a hundred because we pay one half of the bill and then the other half of the bill. That's how my husband does it. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me his, his theories there, but he does it. It doesn't cost us any extra, um, he just, that's how he does it. It's his, there are few bills that are fully in his name and he does with them how he does with them. And as long as they get paid on time and he knows that that's the gig works for me. All right. So we have our calculator here. Let's go ahead and calculate what we need. So 550 divided by two, because we're going to divide this by two different breakdowns. And currently I'm gig working. Technically I get paid every day. I can cash out every day. Do I cash out every day? No, I don't. Um, do I cash out every week? I have no choice. <laughs> um, so I do this technically, if I was to do this budget breakdown, <coughs> man, my throat is just killing me, you guys. My allergies are killing me. I woke up this morning and my eyes were on fire. So technically, if I was to do this weekly, that would work for us too. But this month has been a weird month because we've had uh, last paychecks and we've also had um, unfortunateies happen like car breakdowns, um, brake lights that needed to be fixed. Um, we also had... Um, a cat that was very, very sick. He's on the mend, you guys. He is doing so much better. And he seems happier. So much happier. So space rent, which is going to be $275. And we're going to put that here too. So space rent, $275. Cause that makes 550. I've already paid the rent for this month. This would be um, the, the rent space rent for September. I actually found out as well that I can't pay a lot of this ahead of time. So let's say I had a year's worth of space rent. I actually can't pay it up front like that, at least not with this company. So car payment 700 divided by two yet again is going to be 350. And if you don't know, this is not my actual, um, this is not my actual car payment. This is over my car payment. Um, I actually, when I was homeless, still looking for an apartment and this was my only, this was my only debt at the time I was sleeping in this car. I slept in this car for, um, 11 months straight. Um, before I actually made it inside to an apartment. Um, so the reason I'm telling you that is because most people ask me, Amanda, your bills are so low over here, but your car payment is so high. It's because I didn't have a place. <laughs> 
and I needed a car because I was living in my previous car and I had no hopes of getting an apartment because I had an eviction. Um, I was not a drug addict. I was not um, an alcoholic. I was not a gambler. I was just a low income McDonald's wage earning mother. And at the time I was a single um, person. Um, I have more details in the story there, but I'm not going to share them here on YouTube. Um, but essentially what happened was, is this was one of my main bills. So I literally, when I slept in my car, I only had car payment, car insurance, food, and fuel. And dog food, because Violet, my boxer pit, was my only companion living in this car at the time. Um, I am very blessed to say that I don't have to live this way anymore. However, I'm a very stickler person when it comes to the bills being paid. They gotta be paid. Especially this one here. Space rent. Rent of any kind. I'm sorry, boo-boo, but if you are not paying your rent or your mortgage first, and you're not already ahead, like, I'm already ahead a month, what you doing? <laughs> like, I don't care. Um, I, I do watch Dave Ramsey a lot and he always talks about feed yourself first. Well, sweetheart, I, I can't do nothing if I don't have a place to live. <laughs> it depends on how far behind you are. And eviction's harder to do now than it was many years ago when I got evicted. Okay. So this is what we need by the 17th. And I feel like this is doable. So we need $625 for this. And then same ordeal. We have these two bills plus 100 for the phone. So we need 725. Okay. So this gives me room for things like groceries, fuel, household supplies, pet supplies. This gives me room for if I want to put money into my sinking funds. And if you know, I have a really big battle coming towards me to try to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, but, is it this one? No. But I have a whole bunch of of things I'm trying to accomplish. I need to find which binder it's in. Why am I not able to find the binder? Have I lost my marbles? What's this one? I'm trying to show you guys the, here, no, that's not it. This is the revolving funds. Um, but essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lasso some of my sinking funds into this mix. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. It is. All right. And we already have some cash in here and you're probably going to go, what's this cash for? This cash is just cash tips. <laughs> I can do with whatever I want with this. Um, I was thinking of putting it into sinking funds, but I'm not sure. It might go to bills. So we have 20, 30, 45, 50, 5, 60. We have 60 bucks here. But I don't know. I wanted it really to go into here. We'll see. We will see. Um, but we have our emergency fund. Um, everyone barks and complains. This needs to be $1,000. I don't care what you have in here. As long as you have something. Um, I'm, I'm going to say 500 is going to be my goal there. And then we've got car maintenance. We have winter fund because in the winter, um, in a tourist town, things go to die and there's not a lot of hours and there's not a lot of money coming in. So I am getting too close to the wire for that, but we need it. Um, buffer. I need a buffer. Um, this doesn't have to happen right away. None of this has to happen tomorrow. Um, and I think that that's something everyone needs to really take a breather on. Like it's not going to happen overnight. Um, month ahead because I do want to be a month ahead on my space rent. 
on my car payment, on my insurance, on my phones, phone bill, my insurance, my personal bills, and my internet. They all need to be a month ahead. I don't know when, don't know how it's going to happen. Haven't delegated. <clears throat> I haven't delegated that yet. I keep losing my voice. Um, and then urgency fund. So urgency fund and emergency fund. I did get asked this before. What's the difference? Emergency fund is for a real emergency. Um, your car broke down. Your engine blew. Um, you had to go take a trip because um, Jane Doe or John Doe died. And you need to go to the funeral or... What's another good one? Um, you have a really bad um, house emergency and you um, had a tornado hit your house. Um, you, um, you had a situation where um, your child needed something um, medically or um, something that was going to keep them, you know, well or in school or something to that matter. Um, a, an emergency um, is just that, a real emergency. So we all pull our emergency funds, but the problem is, is that a lot of it is an emergency. It's just urgent. Um, I urgently need to pay my bills. I urgently, um, had a flat tire. I urgently had, um, a situation where, um, I needed to pull some money so that way, um, I could get this job and I have enough gas and I have pants for work and um, I have all the supplies I need. Um, I urgently had a tooth break and it's only going to cost me a couple hundred bucks. Um, but I have $500 in my urgency fund here. So why wouldn't I want to pull this before I pull this? I don't have any money in here currently. But that was just an idea I had. So that way you can keep building this emergency fund while urgent stuff happens. Right? Because they're happening to me every day now. <laughs> uh, by the way, my brake light is out again. Um, I do think I know what the problem is. I do have another $4.99 um, light bulb left. I did get a, a dual pack um, for, you know, 10 bucks. So I have one more bulb. Um, but anyway... Do what you can with what you got because this is all you have to work with. I am not going to judge you on your bills. Don't judge me on mine. Um, most of my bills are paid. Um, and most of the time, people in judgment are judging me because their life is not going well, right? So do what you can with what you got. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.